Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we are jumping in right back where we left off, and in the last video, we actually picked up this brand new house and barn and essentially piece of property right here out on Red Lawn, but of course, we still have our shop and our house back on Highway Hauling. Now, what we are going to be doing this time, though, is we're going to start helping out around the town. We're going to start helping out some of the neighbors around this particular area, and one of them actually went out wheeling, and apparently his truck got stuck and he needs it rescued. So what we're going to do is we're going to go pick up a trailer and then we're going to head out and see if we can get him his truck back. Thing sounds so good. It always has, but like it never gets old. Also, why am I in high suspension mode? I don't really need to be right now. I mean, it, plus the truck I feel looks a little bit better when it's in the lower mode, but that could just be me. Now, the one that we are actually going to initiate here should be a couple houses down, which, by the way, I absolutely love, absolutely love that house we chose. I think it's a perfect spot for us. Now, let's see. I think it's right around this corner, and I want to say it's this guy right here. Yeah, so let's actually go ahead and we'll back our truck in. We'll let him know we're, we're here. And uh, even though we're not in a tow truck today, we may be able to put this good old F-450 to use. So let's back in and see what we've got going on. Now, let's shut this thing down and let's talk to him. So let's see. Bleach was out wheeling and seemed to have flooded his CK-1500 out. Help him recover his lost truck. All right. Now, I don't know where this truck is, but I think he's going to show us on his GPS. So where are... Ho! Oh, yo, he's out there. He is absolutely out there. Good thing we've got a like a radar unit that's already built in and ready to go. This is definitely going to be quite an adventure, and I think uh, it might have been a little bit crazier than I initially thought. But either way, we're going to accept, and let's see what's uh, what's about to happen. First of all, we got to fire this thing up, and then we're going to grab a trailer, not backwards. Why are you going that way? All right, so we got to head over to, th to the garage. And first things first, I want to pick up a trailer. I want to pick up a trailer that can fit, you know, a 1500 fairly easily, which honestly is most trailers. And the only other thing I need to make sure of is I need to make sure that my radar unit is working. So let's see. Activate the radar. It doesn't seem to be working in this particular truck, and I'm not sure why. Let me go into the garage and kind of have, the, have them fiddle around with it a little bit and see if they can figure out why my radar unit isn't working. And we'll do that while we're picking up a trailer as well. Although, I'm always down for a little impromptu mud test. So let's throw it in high and send it. Put it back into first gear. Man, that mud is properly deep. Come on. Let's go. Not too bad. Made it right on through. All right, we can go ahead and lower that suspension back down now. And now we can head into the shop and see if they can fiddle around with that radar unit a little bit. So let's see. Bobblehead radar. Let's say uninstall. We'll leave and then we'll go back in and we'll reinstall. Actually, we'll sell it and then we'll reinstall it. And then we'll leave the garage and see if it works. You're going to work? Yes, you are. Okay, I'm not sure what exactly was going on with it, but at the very least, all it took to fix it was a little bit of messing around with the actual mechanicals of it itself. And while we're here at the garage, we've had this same exhaust setup on this truck for quite a while, and so I think it's time to change it up. I think I want to do a axle dump style exhaust. Yeah, that way we have a little bit more use of the truck bed. And I like, I always like changing up the exhaust setup a little bit. I feel like it, uh, I feel like it helps keep the truck fresh, you know what I mean? Alright, so now, let's grab a trailer. Or I should say, a new trailer. Now, let's see, what do we have on offer here? Ooh, Viking tilt deck? Now, here's the thing. That should fit a 1500, no problem, and so I'm not too worried about that. But I do want to see... There's also the Olven tilt deck, but it's a little longer. I'm going to say... 
I'm gonna say the Viking would work pretty well, because it also has a winch right on the front of it, so this should work very, very well for what we're doing here. Let me make sure that that winch point is active. Uh, it's not exactly active right there, but it's active right here, and so that'll essentially do the same thing. So let's head on out of the garage area and start making our way toward this stranded 1500. Now, we're gonna probably go, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to the left side of the river because I feel like this main road should cut back this way at some point, and this goes up to the ATV area. Now, that I will say, I think the only other way to get there would be to go down this way or to go up one of these side trails, which we could do, but I've seen some of those side trails and they're pretty rocky, so that's why I went with a shorter trailer with taller tires, and I am pretty dang certain that the, uh, the trail that we'll take right up here on the left will allow us to still make our way back over the river at some point, so I'm pretty confident that we're going the right way. However, I could also be very, very wrong on that, so... I'm not entirely sure. Easy does it. All right. So now, I think I'm going to go ahead and just put the truck into high mode on the suspension ahead of time because this is going to be is going to be quite the adventure. There's it's definitely not, you know, it's definitely not something I would say is going to be a walk in the park for most vehicles. Now, some sections are going to require us to slow down and do a little bit of light crawling, nothing too crazy, nothing we couldn't do with a trailer. Um, but essentially we just want to make sure that we keep everything together, keep the truck in good shape, so that by the time we get to the recovery area, we're not, you know, all banged up and got a bunch of damage and everything. Fortunately, we've brought a bunch of extra repair points with us, so that is going to help us a ton. Now, as we go along, I'm going to run my radar unit periodically, and that will allow me to get a little bit of a better lay of the land and also figure out ahead of time what routes might be better to take. Fortunately as well, the creator of this map, Big Dubs, has actually put invisible repair stations all throughout the map on both the main roads and the back trails, so that will help us tremendously. Now, let's go ahead and give that radar a run. And see what we find. And then now that we've run it, let's see. Alright, so we're getting there, but not... Mm, not entirely. Part of me wants to go back and then take this trail, but, like, I've never taken it, and I don't know if it's going to be too sketch. I really don't. But then again, they did say this guy went wheeling, right? So, uh, if he went wheeling, then maybe he is just off of a back trail. I don't know. We're going to carry on with the route that we're, that we're taking, because I feel like even if it's a little longer... It may be more reliable, because if we take that other trail, there's a very good chance we could get turned around and be in a completely incorrect area uh, in relation to where his truck is. Alright, so we got a little picnic area up there. Let's see. Let's also grab that watchtower. I'm not sure if that watchtower is going to work or not, but I really want to see if that's possible. Alright, so what are you going to do? Let's see. Alright, so, whoa, look at that. That's gorgeous. Did it actually do anything, though? Ah, uh, it did a little bit. Okay, it did a little bit. Here's my question. Will the radar be able to see more than the watchtower would have? Uh, a little bit, actually. A little bit more. So we're still, we're getting closer to that dude's, um, CK-1500, but we're not necessarily, like, right on top of it yet, that's for sure. All right, let's back the trailer up into here, and then we'll swing everything back around everything back around. God, I love how it's still showing me the drop-off locator and not the pickup locator. I'm like, bro, the fact that you're still showing me the drop-off locator is like, internally, I'm like, oof. That's a, that, that's like, way to tell me I have not gone very far yet. That's why I'm trying to like, maintain some decent speed, but also trying to not damage everything out. All right, so I'm thinking that maybe in another, like, half a mile or so, we'll run our radar. Just so we can reveal a little bit more on the GPS. I love driving this thing, dude. Like, this thing is so much fun to drive. Yo, what is that? Main trail. Oh, okay. Oh, I see, because there's a, uh, a wreck trail over there, and there's the main trail right here. Now, my question is, I know we're not super close to it yet, 
But my question is, if we run the radar now, A, what else will we find? And B, will it give us any clues as to how we can get closer to that 1500? Um, dang. This is, well, actually, the main trail does loop around in a minute, and I think it might actually put us in the direction that we want to go. So, if it loops around like I'm thinking it's going to, we might actually be on the right track in terms of getting to where we need to get. Oh, there's another wreck trail right there that goes down into this little, like, rock garden area. And actually, that looks like an amazing bypass uh, for that long corner down there. So let's do that and see if that gets us... Well, eh, I mean, it's no big deal. It looks fine. I mean, this thing is always a beast through mud anyway. Yeah, let's go. I'm down for some adventure. Come on. Now let's put it into automatic. Whoa. Easy. A little bit of headlight action down here. Oh, this ain't bad. This is actually super cool. It's a really realistic looking trail. I've legitimately been on trails in real life that look exactly like this one. That's awesome. Let me make my way up and over. Ooh. Oh, that mud gets a lot deeper than you might think. Like, you look at it and you're like, oh, it's going to be like the others. And then it's like, oh, that's nasty. Dude, look at the cabins. Bro, that's awesome. That's so freaking cool. Look at the cabins. I love that. I absolutely love that. Whoa. That's so sick. So, like, you come out here to go wheeling. And then it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, would you like to rent a cabin? Cool. We got vacation rentals all over the place. Look at that. Oh, that's legit. Like, where are you staying this weekend? Oh, I'll send you a picture from my cabin. I love it. That's freaking awesome. I love that. And look at all these others. That's so freaking cool. All right. Now, back to the task at hand. Hey, get off of the tree. What are you doing? Get off. You get off of the tree and get the trailer off of the tree. The heck are you doing? Oh, dude, what? Oh, that's so cool. Got like a little campsite, fire pit, grill, some tents, little picnic table. Oh, that's so awesome. All right, now we got to get back down onto the main road, but not before running our radar unit once again, just to stay a little bit more ahead of the game. And not too bad. We're starting to we're starting to get closer to that 1500. So I'm excited about that. I'm really excited about that. I think that we'll be able to get that thing hooked up pretty dang easily. Camping? Ah, uh, didn't need that side. There's, there's one more left. It's fine. They didn't need that one. <laughs> they needed just the other one. Oh, God. Oh, that tree might need to be removed. Excuse me. Please don't scrape up my truck. Well, you can scrape it. Just don't turn it into Swiss cheese. All right, wreck trail. Yo, that looks fun. That one looks like a blast. I, I would be totally down to run that one sometime. All right, what do we got coming up? We're almost there, dude. We're legit almost there. Oh, man. I am so excited. I'm so excited. This is, like, gonna be my first successful recovery on this map. I'm so freaking pumped. Easy does it. Oh, this, this area is a little bit more overgrown than some of the others. I'm kind of, like, I'm kind of interested, though, as to why. Like, it's, maybe it's because this is so far out in the wilderness now that not a lot of people come back here. So, there's, like, not as many people driving over the surface. Now. Ooh, we're getting close. We're getting real close. At least a lot closer than I thought we were. All right, let's get a quick look. Hmm. All right, I'm thinking, yeah, stay on the main road. Stay on the main road, and then that should be the quickest way still, once again, to get to that 1500. Now, as far as the way we're going to take to get back, I'm not entirely sure if we're going to take the same way or not. I mean, the same way would definitely be safe. There's our locator, so that's good. The fact that we've got a locator now is amazing. So that's gonna, not only does that mean we're getting really close, but that also gives us a really good hint as to where it might be. Deep mud, really deep, a lot deeper than I thought it was gonna be. All right, let's get your tires up on the edge, get just a tad bit more grip. And now, come on, put that power down. All right, oh dude, it's gotta be right around the corner. It has got to be right around the freaking corner. All right, run the radar. One more time. I know I'm running this radar a lot, but, like, I really want to stay ahead of the game with it. Oh, bro. All right. I know what trail we're going to have to make our way down. We finally got close enough to where to where we can actually figure out a direct approach. Come on, make your way through. Let's go. Let's go. 
I love how this thing, like, when the mud gets deeper, it really does, like, give you a lot of slip. But, like, it, it's it's not necessarily, like, a immediate thing. It's super gradual. Oh, dude. What kind of trouble did you get yourself into? Sheesh. You, like, you went after it, didn't you? All right, here's my question. Should I leave the trailer up here and then winch it back out and then throw it on the trailer? Or should I just bring the trailer down in there? Uh, I think I'm going to... That's a hard one. You know what? I think I'll bring the trailer down in there. I'm down to send it with a trailer. I mean, there's a reason why I went with a trailer that had bigger tires anyway. So I feel like it would be kind of a waste to not take advantage of it, you know? All right, here we go. Almost there, almost there. Dude, this is so gnarly. Man, you, uh, you really got yourself in a scenario, didn't you, bud? All right, let's turn this whole setup around. Fortunately, this truck is not going to complain about being in the river, nor is that trailer going to complain about turning at a sharp angle. So, luckily, like, we're pretty well covered on that. All right, easy turnaround, and then we can make our way back. Ease it. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. It's getting a little bit out of sorts, but we can reset it very easily. It's fine. Come on. There we go. There we go. Or not. Or not. All right, come on. Almost there. Dude, it keeps wanting to go the other way. All right. Once I get this thing in position, I mean, that's going to be, that, that's really close. All right, let's put that trailer down. Oh, that's actually a lot better than I thought. All right, so 